Welcome to this video where we would talk about solving word problems involving addition and subtraction of fractions. So, basahin muna natin yung binigay sa ating problem. It says here, Mia has a piece of white cloth. Lila needs one half of the cloth and Nana needs one third of the cloth for their projects. In letter A, we are asked, What part of the cloth did the girls get? In letter B, we are asked, how much more did Lila get than Nana? In order for us to solve this problem, meron akong apat na bagay na palaging tinatanong sa sarili ko para masolve hindi lang itong problem na to, kundi lahat ng klase ng word problems. Punta tayo dito sa baba. Yan. In solving word problems, ask yourself this question. First question, what's the problem? I know it might sound silly, pero ang ibig sabihin lang yan, ano yung hinihingi nitong problem na kailangan mong ibigay para masolve siya? Basically, what is asked? Na mapalad tayo kasi sa example na to, meron ng dalawang hinihingi. What part of the cloth did the girls get? Our first problem na kailangan nating solusyonan. And then the second one, how much more did Lila get more? How much more did Lila get than Nana? So yun yung ibig sabihin nung una nating tanong, what's the problem? The second one is, what's your plan? Anong plan mo para masolve yung problem? What are the operations that you're going to use para masolusyonan mo yung problema? Kailangan mo ba mag-add, mag-subtract? Mag-divide or mag-multiply? That's the second question. The third question, what's the process? It's basically, how are you going to carry out your plan? Paano mo ipapatupad itong plano mo? Nalaman mo may mga operations na gagamitin, then carry it out. What's the process? And then finally, your final answer. Usually, Madalas ha, hinihingi ng mga teachers ay complete statement. So, kailangan yung sagot mo ay naka-sentence. So, mamaya titingnan natin kung paano natin isusulat yung ating final answer sa ating word problem. Balikan natin to. Meron daw piraso ng tela, si Mia. Puting tela, sabi sa atin. Si Leila nangangailangan ng one half nung tela na yun. Si Nana naman kailangan niya one third. Ngayon ang tanong sa letter A, what part of the cloth did the girls get? Ang tanong sa letter B, how much more did Lila get than Nana? Dito muna tayo sa letter A. Sabi sa atin dito, anong parte daw ng tela yung nakuha ng dalawang babae? Si Lila at saka si Nana. What part of the cloth did the girls get? Balikan muna natin kung ano meron tayo. Sabi kanina, piece of cloth, si Lila kailangan niya ng one half, si Nana kailangan niya ng one third. So para masolve ko to, what part of the cloth did the girls get? Basically, kailangan ko lang i-add, this is my plan, alam ko na yung problem, this is our problem. Ano yung plan ko? So basically, kailangan ko sigurong i-add yung tela na nakuha ng dalawang babae. Si Lila, sabi kanina, may nakuha siyang one half. And then si Nana naman ang sabi, may nakuhang one third. Yun yung plano ko para masolve ko itong tanong. Yung problem na, what part of the cloth did the girls get? Then, let's carry out that plan dito sa process. Ano yung prosesong kailangan natin pagdaanan? Well, sa plano natin, we need to add one half and one third. Let's carry it out. So, we have one half plus one third. Recall that we can only add or subtract fractions if they are similar or if they have the same denominator. Unfortunately, dito sa problem na to, Magkaiba yung denominator nila yung isa 2, yung isa 3. 
Buti na lang, alam na natin kung paano ang dapat gawin para mapag-add pa rin yung fractions kahit hindi sila parehas ng denominator. So, alam natin that the first thing to do is to look for the least common multiple of their denominators. Kasi ang goal is ma-rewrite sila sa dalawang fraction na parehas na ng denominator. Because again, that's the only way you could add fractions kapag parehas yung denominator. So para magawa ko yun, kailangan ko muna malaman ano yung least common multiple ni 2 at ni 3. If you don't have any idea on how to do that, I suggest you watch our other video for that. How to find the least common multiple. Pero ipakita na natin dito sa video na to. Paano hanapin yung least common multiple ng numbers. Meron tayong 2 tsaka 3. Ang gustong gusto ko kasing ginagawa to do that is to find the prime factors of the numbers. Yung number na hinahanapan ko ng least common multiple. Hanapan ka ng prime factors. Ibig sabihin, hanapan ko ng number, prime number specifically, na kapag pinag-multiply ko, ang sagot ay yung dalawang number na to. Ang sagot ay 2, ang sagot ay 3. Na mapalad tayo kasi yung given natin, madali lang. Ano daw ang number, prime numbers, na kapag pinag-multiply ko, ang sagot ay 2. Wala nang iba kundi 1 and 2. Ano daw ang numbers, na kapag pinag-multiply, magiging 3. Ganun din naman, 1 and 3. Now, pansinin, bakit parehas 1 yung isa sa mga factor nitong dalawang number? Ibig sabihin lang nun, itong dalawang numbers na to ay prime numbers or number na walang ibang factor kundi 1 at sarili nila. Kung mag-iisip tayo, wala na nga namang ibang numbers na kapag pinag-multiply ko, ang sagot ay 2 at ang sagot ay 3. Bukod dito, 1 times 2 is 2 and 1 times 3 is 3. Now, kapag prime numbers naman na sila, ang kailangan mo nalang gawin ay i-multiply sila. So, 2 multiplied by 3 will give you 6. 6 now is the least common multiple of 2 and 3. The smallest number na pwedeng i-divide ni 2 at saka ni 3, pareha sila, nang walang susobra. That's least common multiple. So, 6 divided by 2 is 3. Sakto yon walang sobra. The same way, 6 divided by 3 is 2. Sakto rin, walang sobra. So, alam ko na ilalagay ko dito sa baba, which is 6. Alam ko na yung magiging denominator nila. Kailangan ko na lang itanong sa sarili ko, ano yung katumbas ni 1 half na may denominator na 6? At ano yung katumbas ni 1 third na may denominator na 6? You can do trial and error to do that. Madali lang si 1 half eh. Ano yung kapres ni 1 half? Kalahati na may denominator na 6. That's 3 over 6. Kasi pag sinimplify mo yan, magiging 1 half din. Si 1 third, medyo madali lang rin naman. Ano yung number? Nakasing value, kapares ng value ni 1 third, pero ang denominator ay 6. That would be 2. 2 over 6, pag sinimplify mo, magiging 1 third. Ngayon na parehas na sila ng denominator, pwede ka na bang i-add? Yes. So, i-add na natin. How are we going to do that? Since parehas yung denominator, kopyahin mo na lang yun. Alam mo na na 6 yung magiging denominator mo sa final answer. Then you have 3 plus 2 on your numerator which will give you 5. Now, magiging final answer lang yan kung hindi na natin siya pwedeng simplify. Ibig sabihin, meron pa bang maba fraction na mas mababa yung numbers na nakasulat nakasing value ng 5 over 6 the answer is no ibig sabihin simplest form na siya then that is our final answer syempre kailangan sang ayon kay teacher dapat complete statement ang ating final answer para masagot ito what part of the cloth did the girls get ang sagot is 5 6 5 6 so isulat ko siya in a statement form Leila and Nana got five sixths of the cloth.
And that is your final answer. Yan yung solution mo para dito sa problem A. What part of the plot did the girls get? Nagawa natin mahanap yan sa A. Tingnan natin kung kaya natin sa B. How much more did Lila get than Nana? Basically, ang hinihingi, yung problem... The problem within the problem is gaano raw karami yung nakuha ni Lila kumpara sa nakuha ni Nana. Balikan natin yung original problem, yung original statement. Merong nakuha si Lila na one half, si Nana naman one third. So, hindi sila parehas. Ang tanong sa atin dito sa P, how much more did Lila get than Nana? Gaano karami yung nakuha ni Lila? Kung ikukumpara sa nakuha ni Nana. Anong plano natin? How are we going to solve that problem? Now, if I'm looking for how much more did someone get in comparison to another, siguro dapat kong subtracting nakuha nung isa dun sa nakuha nung isa pa. So, I need to subtract Yung nakuha ni Lila, sang ayon dun sa ating original problem ay 1 half. At ang nakuha naman ni Nana ay 1 third. We need to subtract 1 third yung nakuha ni Nana dun sa nakuha ni Lila which is 1 half. Subtract 1 third from 1 half or kung gusto mong mauna si 1 half, baguhin mo lang yung statement mo. Sub lagay natin dito sa baba or subtract one half by one third mahalaga sa subtraction yung pinagkaiba ng mga salitang from at saka ng by pakita natin yan dito sa carrying out natin dito sa ating plan let's show the process we need to subtract one third from one half or we need to subtract one half by one third it's basically one half minus one third. Yung nakuha ni Nana, ni Lila. Bawasan natin yung nakuha ni Nana. Para malaman natin, gano karami yung nakuha ni Lila in comparison dun sa nakuha ni Nana. Again, kagaya ng sabi natin kanina, we can only add or subtract fractions if they are similar or if they have the same denominator. Basically, parang uulitin natin yung process natin kanina. Kaya lang, Using a different operation. So, try natin. Two equivalent fractions, kagaya rin ng one-half tsaka ni one-third, na parehas ng denominator. We know that the LCM of 2 and 3 will be 6. Kailangan na lang malaman ano yung fraction na katumbas ni one-half na 6 ang denominator at ano yung fraction na katumbas ni one-third na 6 ang denominator. Kanina nakuha natin yun ng mabilis. Sabi natin, this is 3, this is 2. Pero, kung halimbawa ang Mas malalaking number na yung kailangan mong problemahin. Pakita natin kung paano yung mas tamang paraan. So what we need to do is to start from our least common multiple, yung ating denominator na 6. And then, i-operate ko siya dun sa tig-isang fraction. Ganito ang gagawin. Listen closely. Kung gusto kong mag-start sa numerator, I need to multiply. Kung gusto kong mag-start sa denominator, I need to divide. Now, bakit may option? Kasi kahit saan naman, pwede mong unahin kung saan ka mas madadalian. Kung gusto mong mag-multiply muna, edi doon ka muna sa numerator. Kung gusto mong mag-divide muna, doon ka muna sa denominator. In this example's case, try ko muna na magsimula sa taas. That's what I like to do most of the time. 6 multiplied by 1 will be 6. Again, kapag sa taas, sa numerator, kailangan mo laging mag-multiply muna. Then, kapag sa baba, kailangan mo mag-divide. So, 6 times 1 is 6. Divided by 2 will be 3. Notice, nakaparehas yan ng value na nakuha natin kanina. Same thing dito sa ating second fraction. We have 6 multiplied by 1, which is 6. Divided by 3 will be 2. Again, kaparehas ulit ng nakuha nating value kanina. What we need to do next is to subtract. Since they are similar fractions already, alam natin na ang magiging final answer natin ay may denominator din na 6. Now, what we need to do is to subtract 3 
by 2. So, 3 minus 2 will give us 1. And then, again, magiging final answer lang yan kung simplest form na siya. Hindi na siya pwedeng isimplify. And as we all know, ito na yung simplest form. 1 over 6 or 1 6. Which means, ang final answer natin in statement form, how much more did Lila get than Nana? That will be Lila got one sixth more than Nana. And this statement answers this question How much more did Lila get than Nana? So, nakuha natin parehas ng inahanap nitong problem na to. That's basically how you deal with any word problems. Ask yourself, ano talaga yung hinihingi niya? What's the problem? What's your plan? Ano yung mga operations na kailangan mong gamitin para masolve yung problem? What's the process? Ano yung mga prosesong kailangan pagdaanan? It's basically carrying out your initial plan. And then, your final answer na usually written in statement form so thanks for watching this video i hope you learned something